What you doing? About to steep the elderberry. I don't know what the dried elderberry looks like. What's up YouTube, it's Keisha and we are in the kitchen. Today we are going to be making sea moss elderberry gummies. So stick around for the recipe. <laughs> So in this bowl, I have sea moss that I've already cleaned and soaked. We soaked this sea moss for 24 hours in spring water and then we cleansed it a little more with some lime juice. I've poured the hot elderberry steep over the sea moss in order to activate the carrageenan in the sea moss for it to gel up once it cools. Ingredients we are going to be using cayenne pepper, Jamaican soursop, cinnamon, honey, lemon juice, and we're going to be spraying our gummy cavities with a little avocado oil. While it's still hot, I'm going to add half a cup of honey, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper acts as black pepper would for ultimate antioxidant absorption. I'm going to do a fourth of a cup of lemon juice. Fourth cup of Jamaican soursop. And soursop is a fruit that's found in the Caribbean. And it is an immune boosting fruit that also helps fight cancer full of antioxidants, overall just really good for the immune system. And then we're gonna do a teaspoon of cinnamon. So these little gummies are gonna have a little kick to them. Pack full of immune boosting things. Make sure that honey gets dissolved. All right, so as you can see here, the texture is already changing. Uh, we're gonna go over to the blender and blend up the sea moss that's in here and we're gonna get it strained so we can start putting it into the gummy bear mold. <laughs> you gotta drop the hole. <laughs> Blended it up right. Alright, so now that we got it all blended up, we're gonna start dropping it into the gummy bowl. Oh, look at the little baby. Look at the little baby. <laughs> there we go. So dark. Oh. 
Wait, everybody traveling at the same time? Okay. okay. It's a gummy. I know. Oh, Camille, you broke it. <laughs> All right, Camille. You don't want to touch it. Two, three, pop. <laughs> okay, Camille, what you think? <coughs> it tastes good. What else? Well, give us a review. When you put it in your mouth, it tastes like that elderberry made. And then when you start chewing it, it kind of tastes like cinnamon rolls. Oh, okay. Adrian, what you think? <coughs> oh, you know the one. Oh, this review. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's but it's real spicy. All right, Miss Brandy, what you think? Um, I want to put another one in my mouth. I don't know it's kind of um, good, and it tastes like... Kind of good? It tastes like... Bananas that have that sugar on it. Oh, um, brown bananas. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, bye. Oh, thank God. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. All right, well, here they are, guys. If y'all do decide to try these, uh, let me know how they turn out. You'll definitely need to put a little oil over whatever mold you decide to use so they'll come out easily. We didn't use gelatin, so they're not as solid as they would be if they were actually gummy bears and we had used gelatin. We used sea moss, which made it a certain texture, but they still hold up well. We let these sit for about 30 minutes and this was the texture we got. Okay, so last night we checked them after about 30 minutes. They weren't as firm as I would have liked them to be. So we left them in overnight and we're gonna go check them out now and see what they turned out to be. So we're gonna pop them out and see what they look like if they've changed any. Oh yeah, they have gotten more firm. I just smashed him, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Just like cranberry sauce. Really? Yeah. Got it. <laughs> so did the, did the consistency change? I mean, it firmed up more than it was last night to the touch, but it still got the same texture as far as when you bite it. Got it, okay. Yeah. Depending on the firmness that you like, you can probably use more sea moss gel and it would, or sea moss, and it would definitely make these a little more tighter, but I think they're okay the way they, they are. We'll just pop them out of the molds as we, you know, take them. So, as far as the measurements that I used to make these, I would say about five gummies for an adult and three for a child. No more than that per day. And um, yeah, so that's it. So if you watch this video all the way through, I appreciate you. Be sure to comment your thoughts, like this video, and subscribe to the channel. Bye!